Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Three, two, one, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis to assemble the framework for the science laboratories of tomorrow. Fortunately this year, I have a student whose uncle is an astronaut. He now flies for Southwest Airlines, and Southwest has this program called Adopt a Pilot, and that's where a pilot comes into the classroom, does a lesson, and actually what we'll do is we will track his flights across the United States, and um, we will use math and, ge and uh, geography and also science to continue the lessons and to follow his travels, which is terrific because that's all part of our curriculum. He's going to be doing a, a presentation to the entire fifth grade on his four experiences doing uh, being an astronaut uh, for NASA. So we're really looking forward to that as well. Well, today uh, I got part of a program called Adopt a Pilot. It's a Southwest uh, Airlines community outreach program, which we do every spring. And we have about uh, eight to 900 pilots that participate. I've been doing the Adopt a Pilot for nine years. And I usually do it for disadvantaged kids in the Houston area, because that's where I live. But I still have family here on Long Island. So whenever one of my relative's kids gets to be the fifth grade, um, I come fly out and I do adopt a pilot for their class and then for the, the entire fifth grade class I'll give them a talk about the space program. Sue Olinger, she's been at uh, space camp twice and she's brought her experiences at space camp back to her kids. Programs like this are wonderful because uh, having a real astronaut or a real pilot come to your classroom, that's the time when kids really connect to careers, uh, whether it's science, technology, engineering, math, or even here he's talking about being a mechanic, uh, fueling the plane, all those career opportunities uh, the kids have a hard time envisioning at this age when they hear about it from a real person, uh, such as the captain. Uh, I think those are the times when they actually start to formulate what they might want to do uh, further down the road. Write your name, and I'd like you to come up here and say your name in the phonetic alphabet. So, if your name was Ed, you just come up and say, Hello, I'm Echo Delta. Um, Hotel Alpha Lima Ethereum. Haley! Yes. There you go. Um, Sierra Tango Echo Victor Echo November. Okay. And what does that spell? Steven. My name is Golf Romeo Alpha Charlie and Echo. Ah, what does that spell? Grace. Okay, we're going to go from Houston to Dallas. Dallas to Kansas City. Kansas City to Chicago. Chicago to Panama City. Your task is to get the distance for all four legs and then add them up. Every week I'll tell them what my schedule is. Like uh, this week on Wednesday I'll I'll be in uh, Austin on Wednesday, and then I'll be in Panama City on Thursday, and I'll actually tell them, hey, these are the cities I'm going to. And so they can look at the mileage and see where it is, and they can look on the map. And then I'll send them postcards from the different places. So like Austin is uh, the capital of Texas, so that the teacher can start a, a discussion about uh, Texas. Uh, so it's really kind of neat, and they get every week, I go someplace different and get some interaction with them. Uh, it's 239 miles from Houston to Dallas. My experience, uh, fifth grade to middle school is the best time to, to reach kids. It's when they're at the cusp, and if you get an idea in their head, then they'll start working hard. A lot of times, uh, younger than that, uh, you're still playing Mr. Rogers a little bit, which is still fun. But And the older ones in high school, usually the ones that are motivated are already motivated. But I think from, from fifth grade all the way uh, up to about um, ninth or tenth, that's prime years where you've got them ripe, where you can uh, kind of get them excited and, and get on the right track. Bernoulli principle is when faster moving air over the top, it's lower pressure. So lower pressure means it's pushing up here, and we have something called lift. So you're creating faster air over the top, and that's making it, it rise up. When I was four years old, my grandpa gave me a telescope and I looked outside and I saw the moon and all the constellations and stuff. And then I um, 
when this, when I heard about the space shuttles, I started to like them and I always watched them like launch. And then I started that I wanted to be an astronaut. I thought it was going to be pretty cool because you like to like learn about space and everything, and um, like what he has to go through to like like be an astronaut. I thought that was pretty cool. It's all very exciting, and it's wonderful that we can have someone like him bring this whole experience closer to home.